Have a look at this question. Pause the video, read the question, try to do it yourself and uh, solve this. Suppose short run total cost function of the individual perfectly competitive firm is given to you. What is true about the AS curve if there are 100 identical firms in a perfectly competitive market, right? Okay, so we are given with this cost function. Let me just write this. CI equals to 0.1 QIQ minus 20 QI, uh, 2QI square plus 15QI plus 10. I'll find out the marginal cost for this. This will come out to be minus 0.3QI square minus 4QI plus 15. And the individual supply curve is given by P equals to MC. Right, so I'll put P equals to MC. So in place of marginal cost of the ith form, I'll put P. If you want to see the recording based on the individual supply curve, this must be there in the microeconomics playlist. You can see that. Let me just write this in this fashion. So I need to find out QI, uh, QI here minus 4QI plus 15 minus P equals to 0. Right? So here A is 0.3, B is minus 4, C is 15 minus P. Right. So, how do you find out QI then? QI is minus B plus minus root of B square minus 4AC upon 2A. Just like this. What is this? Plus minus root of B square. 4 in place of a I'll write 0.3 in place of c I'll write 15 minus p upon 2a 2 into 0.3 so this thing comes out to be 4 plus minus this is going to be 16 minus 4 into point 3 is minus uh, 1.2 15 minus p upon 2 into point 3 right into 2 into point 3 now uh, just multiply 15 uh, with 1.2 right right so it becomes what 4 plus minus 1.2p minus 2 upon 0. 0.6 1.2p uh, minus 2 upon 0. 0.6 so we are just taking up this guy minus 2 upon 0. 0.6 right so once I'll solve this <coughs> this is what my QI is going to be this is what my QI is going to be but you need to have your uh, price to be greater than the minimum of ABC otherwise there is no point of producing anything right so please write this note that Of that individual supply function
is relevant for price greater than equal to minimum of AVC. We have done all these things in classes. AVC of the individual firm I is given by what? So you are given with this cost function, right? Uh, so this is the variable cost part. This is the fixed cost part. So I'll find out the average variable cost. So what I'll do is that I'll divide the variable cost part with QI with QI. So you have what? 0.1. So this is I'm just writing uh, first of all the variable cost upon QI. So it is 0.1 Q square minus 2 QI plus 15. So, del, in order to find out the minimum of AVC, what will you do? First of all, find out del AVC by del QI. So, that thing comes out to be 0.2 QI minus 2 equals to 0. So, you have your QI equals to 10. So, at QI equals to 10, you will find out the AVC. That will give me the price below which you won't be producing anything. So please write put UI equals to 10 in AVC I. Uh, so what will that will give me? What is that going to give me? AVC I is going to be 0 0.1 10 square minus 2 into 10 plus 15. Right, so I think this is going to give me five. This is going to give me five. Now the point is, if the price is going to be below five, I won't be producing anything. Being this particular ayat form, I won't be producing anything because I will find uh, it profitable for me to to produce nothing. When price is less than minimum of AVC. That is, when price is less than 5. The ith form will find it profitable produce zero output level right so in that case what is going to be my supply it is going to be four plus so i've just taken up that part of supply which is going to give me sure shot the positive value right 1.2 p minus Two, right? Plus upon point six. Now, if price is greater than or equal to five, this is going to give me the supply. If price is going to be less than five, nothing is going to be supplied. Nothing is going to be supplied, right? And if the industry is going to consist of hundred firms, then the horizontal summation of all these individual supply curve is going to give me the aggregate supply curve. Right. If hundred forms are there in perfectly competitive industry. Right. 
then aggregate supply curve is the horizontal summation so i'll just multiply uh, so this is the supply of one form supply of 100 form is going to be 100 into this thing right so aggregate supply is going to be 100 into all this and won't be supplying anything for p less than 5 right for p less than 5 now you look at the options which you have now you look at the options which you have so at p equals to 2 aggregate supplies 10 units hmm. at p equals to 2 aggregate supplies 10 units no at p less than 5 aggregate supply is 0. So, aggregate supply is not 10 units. It is 0. So, the first statement is wrong. This is false. At P equals to 22.5, AS is 1000 units. Okay. At P equals to 22.5, AS is 1000 units. So, you guys can calculate this. Let me just check at P equals to 22.5. So, aggregate supply is going to be 100 into 4 plus 1.2 into 22.5 minus 2 upon 0.6. Right? So, once you calculate this, this will come out to be 1500 not 1000. So, in this case, what will happen? In this case, it is going to happen that this is also not true, right? Individual firm will not supply anything if the price goes below 10. But a QI is equal to 10, not the price is equal to 10. So, if the, if the price is going to go below 5, individual firm is not going to produce anything. Uh, so, just try to see how the examiners can confuse you. You have found out QI equals to 10. So, don't be confused there. I mean, Jaldabaji, don't just mark this. When price goes below 5, individual form will not produce anything. Right? So, even this is wrong. So, the answer is none of the above is true. None of the above is true. Right? Okay. Thank you, Vita.